a quick video. I got a, I received a package from Tide from Fifteens. This is a four more battalions of landwehr. These are going out to get painted uh, by Dan over in Australia. Dan Gunners Wargaming the painting service. He's just started up. After I won the competition, I'm taking advantage and getting another four battalions done. These will be the fourth Silesian. Uh, I've got a mix of reserve figures and uh, landwehr figures. These are the reserve ones. Ringo, this is this is more for you, so you can get a wee look at them uh, close up. Hope you can see them. Now this figure, these poses here, they've got a couple of broken bayonets and you can see a couple of broken. And they both, they all have the same flaw, that pose. So they'll have to be clicked off and, and actually try to repair them. So that's about a, a bummer. That's about £5 worth of figures there. But all in all, lovely, lovely casting. The reserve battalions look really, really nice. That's just the, Sil the Force Silesian had a specific uniform in, in 1815. Yeah, a bit boring. I'm not going to, they're getting mixed in with the regular landwehr figures. Now that's the regular landwehr there. I'll see if I can zoom in. There's quite a few poses and they're they're really nice. You get a lot of certain poses like this guy, this one here, there seems to be a lot of them. And this lot here there's a lot, but they'll all mix in. There's plenty to split between the four, so that's not, not too much of a bother. Command figures, skirmishers, I will do all them myself. The the enthusiastic guys here. I had actually put a wee note to Ian, hoping that I could get only landwehr enthusiastic. That's the only bother with Britain buying uh, from Fighting Fifteens cause instead of Eureka, because Eureka you can actually choose the poses. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Ian doesn't have that that option, but obviously because he gets the stuff mostly from Australia. So I've got two landwehr enthusiastic guys and three other guys. One's a prince and a, a I don't know, they'll probably just go in the spares pile. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, that's that's the only drawback for ordering for down the road. Uh, I got a couple of dragoons, because I pinched a couple of dragoons from my regiment I have waiting to get painted. And these guys, have, the dragoons have changed. I had a, I had a uh, insight into the Ulans changing. Uh, the, the buttons on the outside and they're a more robust figure. They're still lovely. Uh, just a wee bit different from the, the, the Dragoons I have, but they'll fit in, no bother. Uh, I pinched two to make a special command base for uh, Crazy Platin from the, I think it's Mokrun battle. And these are all spare, these are all uh, elites for Shasura Chevelle and Hazars. I believe the conversion work as well here, because the Hazar charging figure Elite figure just comes in the, the one pose, eh, unfortunately. And the trumpeters, the charging Shasura Shvel trumpeter has his trumpet down by his side, whereas the Hazar one has his arm raised. So that's them. Horses, as always, way be absolutely outstanding. There's a couple there that aren't actually like cavalry horses, but it doesn't matter because I've got plenty of horses. So overall, overall very happy with the. Uh, the figures, and I think this is my, this, I said this before, but I'm pretty sure this is my last Prussians purchase AB, I have an idea to do other armies, but I've got a lot of figures, so this, this might be, uh, if I do Austrians, I might be buying more AB figures, but what I've got just now will do me. Anyway, happy wargaming everybody, bye for now.